Good evening any everyone on YouTube. Sorry I haven't posted any videos. Um, I've been very unwell. I've had a fever. I've been quite sick recently. Um, what you're seeing in front of me is a floodlight. And today we're going to have a little bit of fun with that. Today, I have some bulbs here. I've got some lamps. This is a metal halide lamp, right here. It's pretty big. We got ooh, a high pressure sodium lamp, 400 watt. We got another high pressure sodium lamp. Got those three there. Um. Alright, so let me just turn this one off for now. Actually, let's see if I can turn it down a bit. That sort of glow right there, look at that. Beauty. Let's turn it off. Alright. Hold on, let me go get my tripod real quick. Alrighty, so I got this on a tripod now. Um, now if I'm going to show you something, what I'm actually going to be doing with this lamp, this big old floodlight. Actually, like before we get onto the other one, I want to show you that, like, what I'll be doing with this one here. Um, The inside of it. This is a 400 watt lamp, floodlight even. Sorry. <sighs> All right. So so you got the inner workings of it here, right here. Ballast, capacitor, igniter, safety um, switch. It go along, goes along with this part here. And we got the lamp. This is the part we'll be focusing on. So, like, I will be taking all of this out, completely stripping it down. And, uh, yeah. Like, apparently, it's like, and the igniter is gone. Hang on. I have. An igniter and a capacitor that is, I mean, like the capacitor is actually still okay, but I got this right here. So, also, I could probably show you guys what is actually in this. Um, Okay, I'm not sure if I have any tools, but... Hold on, I know how to open it up. Hold on, guys. Alright, I found something that I actually open this up. Not the nut there, that is just plastic. It's just plastic on there, that's all it is. This video has been recorded on 8.05pm. Saturday 8th of April. Happy April, guys. That's not it. I gotta find the flathead part on this. Ah, I keep dropping things. I don't know why, but I just do. This part will do. I see the inside of a uh, igniter. Do that. Hold on to that piece while it's open. Do that. Dig in there like that. Dig in. 
Alright. And this is the inside of it looking like. And the capacitor blew itself apparently. Maybe that's why. The other light wasn't working. Like when it had the original ballast in it. And I couldn't find the part unfortunately. So. I had no chance but to. You know, take the ballast out and everything. Got a part on there as well. Igniter. It's an electronic igniter. Got. Some sort of capacitor here. Or a relay. You got a resistor here, I think. Uh, Royal 532 5 rot 15 ohm resistor of some sort. And there you can see the strike mark right there, too, where it striked it. Obviously, this thing was on its way out anyway, but hey, and how it goes back together. As well is pretty easy. Simply just line up the circuit board with little two grooves on it. Two grooves. Slide it in and just like that. That's how it's made. Very interesting. And I just put it on there just so we don't lose it. I got no idea where the other nut went, but all right. So let's now we're gonna want to remove the bulb from this. So let's go ahead and do that. Put some gloves on as well. First of all, gloves. To protect the glass when you're handling it. Because you don't want these to blow up in your face as well. Because that can be real dangerous. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and remove it. Metal halide mat lamp. Right here. And we're going to go and... Switch it over to there. So let's go over here. I've got the lamp right near the tripod here, and I've got to be careful with that. Let's take the high pressure sodium. 400 watt lamp out. It is really hard to grab. That's only a temporary setup. I'm planning on getting a uh, actual ballast in there, like a more higher powered 12 volt one. So let's go ahead and Do that. Put it into its box. It goes in like that. Put that up on there. All right, and let's grab our metal halide lamp and see what it does when it actually fires up. Should be very interesting because, like, these normally do tend to. Got like a, I don't know, a very teal green color. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting setup here. That thing's always fiddly. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and buy it and hang it up. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's very interesting. <laughs> interesting, huh? Now, I will unpause the video as soon as it gets to its full brightness. Okay, um, so this is its full brightness on 16.5 volts on a 12 volt ballast. Um, yeah, that, that's actually pretty good. And let's see um, how bright it actually is with the lights off. Alright, so I'm lifting the other unit. Turn the other light off. Oh wow. That's more like a pet. That's more like a white color. It's weird. I guess you can see the difference. Doesn't really make difference at all, really. You can't really see much. Both light as with the high pressure sodium. Whoa, what a difference. Nice orangey rich color. As for this, like it's more like green. On the on the camera, this is like a Philips um, lamp. It's labeled Philips. Uh, yeah, four hundred watt bulb. That's really good, actually. That's decent for a lamp like that. All right. Well, now we know what we can actually do. Let's go ahead and show it off. Oh, I love how it just goes, just shuts off. Just like a projector would. <laughs> okay. Now, back again with the gloves. Gotta have them on. Also, if you guys don't know what an E40 socket looks like, luckily I have one just like it. And that it has in there, but it's actually this. Right here, that's how big it is compared to my hand. And we're going to use this at some point as well. It's a ceramic fixture. So it's relatively big, if you think about it, really. Now we're going to test out this bulb here. This is a 350 watt bulb on a 400 watt fixture. Let's take it out. Just lay the glass on me like that. Nice and warm. Ooh, the bulb's nice and warm too. Very wonky, but you shouldn't really do that.
Oh, okay. Looks like this one's going to go a little bit brighter, so I'll check back with you once it gets at full brightness. Hang on, let me go turn the lights off real quick before it warms up even more. I'll back the camera away a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more. Because you don't even know how bright these things are on their original ballast. So I'll get back to you as soon as this thing warms up completely. Actually, I think that's probably as bright as it's going to get, but if you see, it's not that much difference compared to the other one. Not that much difference at all. Keep in mind, this is a globe shaped lamp. It's a metal halide, but um, yeah. Also, I have a mercury vapor lamp that we can actually try out, which actually turns out pink when you first um turn it on, which is very, very interesting. Quite interesting, actually. I'm still trying to get a hold of these lamps because I know they're very unique. On my way home from Ragland, like I saw like a whole bunch of high pressure sodium lamps working in the night along the road. Yeah, that's very interesting. So uh yeah, let's go ahead and grab this bulb out. She's reasonably warm. Right here, you got a reflector. Oh, and this one's by Venture Lighting, by the way. Venture Lighting Uniform Pulse Start. So this one has, I think it's got a resistor in it. I don't know. Let me just go grab um, the, uh, the Mercury Vapor Lamp out of my cupboard. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Right, here we have the lamp. Now, this is 250 watt Osram Mercury Vapor Lamp. So let's go and um, chuck this bad boy in. Try and get out of the packaging first, get out of the box. Two hundred and fifty watts. All right, let's go and chuck it in. All right, let's do this. Right, now let's turn the light off and see how bright it can get. Ooh, 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 that's very nice. Lovely pink colour, very, very nice. Now this actually has a phosphor coating on, on the inside of it. It's got a little arc as well. I see a little bit of blue in the, on the naked eye, but not on the camera, unfortunately. So, yeah. Now, 
And um, yeah, like I said before, I will be converting the other unit from 240 volts AC to 12 volts DC with a, like at least like 150 watt uh, ballast in it. Just like a little one I have. And I'm going to do the same to this unit. <laughs> Sorry. To, to this unit I will be doing as well. Very, very, very nice color, actually. Very nice. I think it's quite cool. Very nice, cool white. Wow. Just look at that. You see, see the socket there as well. And the voltage. Right here is running at 16.5 volts. It's the maximum this thing can support at anyway. So it's not that good, it's just the zoom isn't that good. So instead of me doing that, I'm gonna bring it up in case it doesn't knock the light out. Right there, 16.5 volts. I don't know what's happening with the amperage because normally they would read about two to three amps, but no. It's not. I don't know why it's not doing that. It's... I've got to take a look at it. But, um, yeah. We've got this going. It's like, very nice pure white. Beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Now you can see like the arc on here if I turn the brightness down a bit. I turn it up. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Bring you guys a bit closer like that. You can see the arc in the middle. But, um, yeah. Wow. If I turn it down just a bit, just a tad, I do that. Ooh. I can imagine what it would actually look like like that. That's like a 25 hertz, I think. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna turn it down even more. Just to see what happens. We're at 4.1 volts. Now we're at 4.1, and it's gone out. Right, that's just ruined it, but okay. So yeah, that's basically about the end of the video anyway. If you did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. Please get me up to 700 subscribers. Let's keep this going. I may not be posting as much anymore, because i got a whole lot of other stuff to do. And, uh, yeah. Including with a big subwoofer there as well. And, um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good May. Because it's almost May. It's only the 8th of, um, April. But, hey, that's fine. And if I don't see you guys within, like, a little week or so... Then, yeah, have a good year. Say the song one more time. Oh, 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 look at that. Yo, look at that. Hold on, I'll turn the light off for a minute. Hold on. Look at that. Oh.
just very, very, very faint. It's quite faint. Oh, there he is. Boom. There it is. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>